Hi guys, Rachel here with the Cackling Moon. Um, this is going to be just a video talking about something new that's going to be starting tomorrow. Um, it has been a last minute, literally it's been a last minute manifestation. Um, so first things first, um, if you guys have been watching the Vlogmas videos that I've been putting up, I'm no longer going to be continuing continuing with Vlogmas. I'm sorry for those of you who have been enjoying it, but <laughs> um, I was finding vlog. Sorry, I'm going to be touching my hair because it's real frizzy. I just literally just got done with the shower and stuff. Um, um, Vlogmas has turned into kind of more of like a little bit of an obligation to do. Um, I haven't been enjoying it as much as I thought I would. I feel like Vlogmas has a little bit more of a different vibe than like the video diaries did when I was doing the video diaries. So Vlogmas is more of like, it's a, it's a vlog. Like you're supposed to be taking yourself out, going and doing Christmas related things. Like I, I, I guess like I've just been coming to that conclusion based off of the other <laughs> Vlogmas um, videos that I've been watching from other YouTubers that I subscribe to. So <laughs> I feel like mine are not, um, they're not evolving into quite what I thought they would. And just to release myself from an obligation, I figured I'm no longer going to participate in Vlogmas this year. Maybe next year I'll be able to have a bit of a handle on it. I'll have some, you know, a different a different perspective, some more plans, this and that. But I think I'm just going to stick with my video diary type of approach to doing any sort of vlog. Um, so no more Vlogmas. Sorry, you guys. I hope that, I hope it doesn't disappoint you. <laughs> Um, but on a positive note, um, so yet literally this was something that transpired yesterday. So yesterday, I feel like this is, okay, let me just angle it just a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Um, so yesterday, sorry, I feel like my box is like lopsided. Maybe it's just my phone. <sighs> Okay, I don't know. Okay, um, so yesterday I put up a post on my Instagram where I was, I pretty much had posted a picture of this book, which is 78 Degrees of Wisdom by Rachel Polak. So I posted a picture of it because I have been really, really wanting to um, dive into another tarot book. And I felt like this one would be really, really good to do so. It's the first, literally like this copy. So this is my older copy. This was the book that I dove into when I was learning tarot back in 2012. <laughs> so it's been a gem. Like literally, this is the one that I learned off of. Um, and so I feel like with this transition that I'm going through, literally the 2nd of January being the last day of my day job, and it's a new year, it's fresh, like new year vibes is just so good for starting something different, starting something new. And so I felt like, wouldn't it be really cool to reread the book that started the magic? So from my own personal journey and my own personal perspective, that's why I'm going to be rereading 78 Degrees of Wisdom. Um, so I put a post up on Instagram. I put a picture of the book and I just wrote, you know, I think I'm going to be diving back into it. I'm most likely going to be reading this copy because this one's already all marked up. Um, but I put a post saying I was going to dive back into the book that started the whole journey. And um, I invited anyone that was interested in you know, reading the 78 degrees of wisdom, if they wanted to kind of follow along or like we could do a little book club or whatnot. Um, I put that, I put the invitation out there, but I wasn't expecting, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get as many replies as I did. So I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I have to say, because I thought a lot of people were going to, um, not be interested because it is a holiday season. And so a lot of us have jobs and busy schedules and plans and family things and whatnot. And so I thought, oh, well, you know, it's just something that I'm going to do for myself. But I thought I would put the invitation out there because why not? Um, I know a lot of people own this book, so why not? 
Um, and a lot of you guys responded with, I'm in, I'm down, I'm interested, I'll, I want to do this. I've been like, some of you guys had said that you even purchased the book, but you never read it. And so I'm like, this is the perfect opportunity to dive in and read the book. I know that the time of year, like I said, it's the holiday season, everybody is busy, we're all, we all have something going on at least once or twice this month, I know I do, but I feel like when it comes to reading, reading is like something that you can do when you're curled up in bed before you go to sleep, you could read for like 10 minutes, you could read for 30 minutes. I like to read for like a solid hour sometimes, and even more, I'm just crazy. <laughs> but I figured, if I made the book club as casual as I could with all while keeping some sort of structure that maybe people will follow along and stick with it. But um, I'm not having any expectations of this book club. I've had expectations in the past and it's funny because I saw 555. Um, so in the past I did a, a book club once or twice. I think we attempted it in my Facebook group and it just didn't turn out quite how I had envisioned it. And I think it's because I went into it with tons of expectation. Um, so this time around, having learned my lesson, I have zero expectations of this book club with you guys. It's literally for me. I'm doing this for me. Um, and so whether people follow along or they don't, it doesn't matter because I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's for me um and so to me it's like it's just a way to for me to dive back into a book that literally sparked and taught me the cards when I very very first started the journey in 2012 um and because I feel like this this time as I'm like morphing into 2020 where I'm literally going to be doing Cackling Moon full time. It's been seven years and it's finally happening um, on the eighth year. <laughs> um, it's just really exciting. So it's really exciting for me and it's sentimental and it means a lot. So I figured that's the best way for me to start this journey is to bring back an oldie and that is the 78 degrees of wisdom. So those of you guys who are watching I put the invitation out there for you. Um, you can follow along with either copy. Um, they are both pretty much the same, except for I think like, I think this newer version has like a, an extra forward in the beginning from Rachel. Um, and I love it too. It's kind of like, it's kind of funny how the author's name is Rachel and I just came out with my real name to you guys being Rachel. So <laughs> I just think this whole thing fits. It's just like synchronistic for me and it's something that I knew I needed to do and I just thought why not invite you guys along in this journey too. Um, and so if whether you want to read the older version or the newer one, it doesn't matter. They're both the same, literally both the same. Like I went, I went through, I think I have a video on this where I went through both of the books and it's the exact same thing. So it doesn't really matter which edition you have. Um, so the way that the book club is going to work is it's going, I'm going to be doing posts on both my Facebook group, which is Talk Tarot With Me. Um, you can find the link to the Facebook group in the description box. I'll put that information there for you. Or if you're an Instagram person, you can follow me on Instagram at The Cackling Moon. Um, and I will be posting on Monday and Friday of each week up until literally the last week of January because the way that the book is laid out and the way that I'm going to read it, um, it'll be four weeks that we'll complete this. Um, so if you want to follow along via Instagram or the Facebook group, it's up to you. Um, but I'll be posting the same posts on both pages. Um, I also plan on coming on here and doing a YouTube video once or twice or maybe once a week. Maybe we'll see how I feel. Um, discussing what I'm reading. So I remember back in the day when I was like first going through this book, I there was a lot of information in here. Um, that's why it's it's the book that I recommend to people. It goes into the symbols, it goes into a lot of little details that you don't normally see in the cards. So I'm really excited to see my perspective on the writing eight years later. <laughs> um, and so 
Um, I feel like I'm, I'm gonna wanna do a one, one or two videos where I just kinda like discuss what's being read, how I am enjoying the book, my perspective of the book now that it's like been eight years into my tarot journey because when I first read this, I was zero knowledge of the tarot. And now that I'm reading it, it's like I've been reading tarot professionally for a few years now. And so I'm like, I wanna see what this new, like what my new opinion and perspective and is this still a book that I would recommend to beginner tarot readers or anyone in general. So I'm excited to see how that turns out. Um, so you may see one or two videos pop up here on YouTube, but if you wanna follow along the journey, please, please follow me through Instagram or Facebook, the Facebook group, because I'm not gonna be doing any updates here on YouTube other than maybe like one or two videos. Um, and then other than that, I leave like, I leave basically like the posts that I'll be putting on Instagram and, and Facebook are open to you guys. So that's where you can put your commentary down um, based on the, the chapter that you read for the week. You could put down your thoughts, your feelings, what card like blew your mind, um, you know, whatever. You could put it all down in the, in the post, in the comments within the post. And it'll just be really fun to kind of, be able to mingle and talk with one amongst blah, 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 talk amongst one another. Um, the other cool thing about the book club is that you get to meet other tarot readers. So if you're looking for people to follow, maybe you want to meet people and have people follow you too. Whatever, you can meet other t people in the tarot community through the likeness of a book. What's what other what? How other great way to meet friends with? Mean, me like literally like coming together based off of an amazing book so <laughs> meet other like-minded tarot readers and make some friends I have people who are in the Facebook group that met one another and they're still you know they're they just made they, they made friends like they hang out now or they they chat on and off the Facebook group um, I think there was one reader that um, actually um, sold one of their decks to another person in my group that was looking for a specific deck. So it was just like fate, like it was just like it was meant to be. Um, and then of course through Instagram, it's like, it's easier to follow with the comments and whatnot. And so whatever your flavor is, if you like Facebook or if you like Instagram better, I will be posting both places. <laughs> um, so be sure that you follow one or the other or both. Um, if you're interested, if you wanna follow along, cool. We will be reading a chapter a week with the intention of completing the book the end of January. So it's a four weeks of the major arcana, four weeks for the minor arcana, and then you'll be done with all 78 cards. Um, but FYI, this book also has a part three. So when you go to the table of contents, um, you'll have like <clears throat> part one, which is the major arcana, part two, which is the minors, and then you have part three, which is readings, and, and she basically talks about the types of readings, how to use tarot readings, and what to learn from tarot reading. If you wanna read that portion yourself, that's up to you. If you wanna read the introduction, because there's introduction for each part, that is up to you. I've already read the book cover to cover, so I'm not interested in reading those things. Um, I am merely going to be reading only about the cards. Um, and that's the way that I'm going to approach it. So when we start tomorrow, Monday, tomorrow, December 9, um, I'm going to be starting from, we're going to be doing part one, but I'm starting from chapter three, okay? Because I don't need to read the, the, the introduction or the card patterns or the overview. Like, I don't really care about that stuff. But if you're new to the book and if you really want to read the book cover to cover, then that is up to you to do it on your own time. But <laughs> I'm going to be starting with chapter three and um, we'll be reading a chapter a week, basically. So uh, some of the chapters can be a little bit chunkier than others, give or take maybe like the the... The, I think the, the largest chapter that I could see is about 40 pages, but you have you have seven days to read 40 pages, so I don't think that that's that hard. Um, you know, just read a few pages a day, um, like five, six pages a day, and you'll be done. Um, but I wanted to do it chapter by chapter because it's just easier to have everybody kind of on the same page and we're not like <laughs> going like page by page or whatever, and it's just confusing. So... 
We're just gonna do it chapter by chapter, but I will only be reading about the cards. I'm not gonna be reading all that other extra stuff because I've already read, read it. So, um, but if you want to, that's up to you. Do it in your own time. Um, so yeah, that's all I really wanted to say about the book club. I'm really excited to start this tomorrow. I love reading. It's, uh, I just, I love reading and I'm already reading fiction books. So this is like <clears throat> the nonfiction read that I will be doing for the next two months. And I'm just excited to dive into the book that started it all. Um, and just to kind of see if I have a different perspective this time around. So I'm excited to see how that goes. Um, but I wanted to put the video out there for you guys. If you're interested in following along, please join my Facebook group or follow me on Instagram. And like I said, the posts will be popping up Monday and Friday of each week. So tomorrow you'll see the first post and then I'll do Friday. I'll do the post regarding that week. <laughs> um, so you guys could discuss it or you could come back to the post at another day. It doesn't matter whatever you want to do, but it'll be there if you want to. Um, I have zero, zero expectations on this book club being, you know, 100% everybody is going to do it and follow through and complete it. I have zero expectations. I'm, I'm merely doing this for myself, but I am opening it up to everybody who is interested because I did receive a ton of people who said, I want to read the book. I'm interested. I want to do this. This sounds cool. So if you do, you do. And if you fall off the bandwagon, that's okay. <laughs> if you read half the book and you don't you're not interested in it it doesn't it's just not like tickling your fancy and you're not you're just not feeling it that's fine too um like i said i have zero zero expectations um i'm doing this for me so i gotta keep reminding myself that so i don't get bummed out <laughs> if i see that no one is like following along because originally i was gonna do this on my own anyway so yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your weekend. It is Sunday. Lazy Sunday, literally. Um, so I hope you're not doing much of anything. Relax. Watch your favorite movie. Have your favorite food for dinner. I don't know. Do something fun for yourself today, you guys. Enjoy. Um, and if you have any questions regarding the book club, please leave them below. I will be watching for my comments today and answering. This way I could get them answered before Monday, before tomorrow. Um, as this was literally a random ass manifestation of a book club. So <laughs> sorry for the late, like literally it was just like, Yesterday, I was like, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to have a book club. And it's like pretty much most of you guys own the book anyway. So I I was like, let's just jump on it. We could get done in two months. So um, yeah, I'm excited. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye. Oops. <laughs>